My name is John. When I was asked if I could talk about how and when I met Jesus, I said I could not offer anything dramatic, no blinding lights or revelatory words, but was always happy to talk about my Christian journey and those who'd helped me along the way. My parents and a wonderful Sunday school teacher taught child-friendly Bible stories and with my bedtime prayers laid fantastic foundations. When I was about seven, I was allowed to accompany my parents to church, but only if I sat quietly, otherwise mother would take me home. I soon wanted to join the choir, and the exceptional organist who was our choir master always took time to explain the biblical background of everything we sang. We were 30 boys, and with our range of hymns, canticles, anthems and oratorios, were often invited to cover for cathedral choirs. I do not know if these visits improved my theology, but they certainly awakened my interest in church structures, in every sense of the meaning of that word. In my late teens, I was admitted to membership of a Baptist church, but only after very thorough interviews, I was Anglican. I had originally been to have a look at the youth group, and had joined the Young People's Bible Study Meeting, where I met the young woman who in later years would become my wonderful wife. Margaret and I worked together as volunteers in a team of 12 on Saturday evenings, running a youth club of about 120. Then on Sundays, we sat under fantastic but demanding preaching. One of the deacons was probably the best New Testament scholar of our age, and the minister, a super pastor, if a bit strict. When we were first married, we lived on Harrow Hill, as we looked around for a local area to make our home. We visited many churches, seeking out sound teaching, good liturgy, and a fantastic choir. Emmanuel seemed to fit the bill, and we looked for a house and we still live there. Over the 40, 50 years that we've been here, apart from David Bubbers and now Tim, four vicars have come and gone. Richard Hall persuaded me to try church governance. Andy Northwood has changed out of all recognition. The one thing that has not changed is my God. Yesterday, today, and forever, he is the same. And I know he has been with me all along my journey and will be with me always. If you commit your life to him as I did, he will be with you and walk with you too. Amen.